All right, guys, so it is the top 10 for the movie trivia showdown. We missed last week, but don't worry. A couple matches have gone down. The top 10 has changed dramatically, and Mark and myself are here to talk about and it. And it will be changed dramatically after this week because you got Sam Levine going up against Jeff Snyder. You look at the names when you get towards the top half of the top 10, you're going to see both those young men. So a lot of stuff going crazy this week. All right, now a lot of crazy things happening. And what I also do love is they're not everyone, just like any sports league anywhere mm -hmm. you go any UFC boxing or or a college you always college football you always have people who don't agree with the rankings Bourbon I fans. love the conversations yeah. that are happening below keep them coming listen coming in at number 10 is Scott Mance it, once again Roca gets knocked out of the top 10 Mance stays in there it, Roca just can't catch a break. It's fair, but it, it's from the narrowest of margins. But Mance beat Roca head-to-head. Yeah. Head. That's why he still is in the top ten. And that will change dramatically when those two go up against each other in August it in might. that rematch. Well, somebody's got to change it. Somebody's going to be might. one and two, and somebody's going to be two and one. I think I, I think Mance gets him again. You think Mance is going to beat him Mance again? Mance gets him again. Maybe. Roca will never live with himself. Uh, then you got Finstock. Finstock has no one to play right now. He's two and two. He's waiting around. Is he going to play JTE if, if JTE beats you or if JTE loses? Is he going to play you? Is he going to go after me? Is he going to go after somebody else? Is he going to call John Schnepp out again? Who the hell knows what this guy's going to do? But there he sits at number nine. And then you talk about number eight, and that is somebody who I cannot wait to get my hands on, mainly because it's going to put me into the top ten when I embarrass JTE. That's a great point. Is look, and this is where the arguments are going to come. People are going to ask why isn't JT ranked a little higher? He's gone for the title twice. You look at it like this: his last two appearances, granted, in the team, he he, he single handedly almost took them to the team championship by yeah, himself. Yeah. He got embarrassed and knocked out in the singles title. Um, that was his last singles match. He hasn't really done anything yet. But the reason he's three and two is that we gave him a little bit of a gift. He's if you look at his two and two, three and two. He and Copster went up against each other in a match that wasn't really sanctioned, and it kind of kickstarted the whole. Well, we're so happy that it kickstarted the league. It kick -started. gave us a, the right, nudge in the right so direction. So we gave him a three. So he gets the W. That's fine. He's going to have no another rules. L come yeah. next weekend. So, so officially, he's kind of two and two, but we give him that three because he beat Copster in that Tri Sanatoris Tatis Tops. Thing. I love our country to death. All the American flags are not going to help you next week, JT. Then you got coming in at number seven with a very impressive debut. Jason Justice Inman has a pretty big match going up against me. I heard that. Yeah. I actually found out the news as I do a lot of uh, ways on social media. Yeah. And uh, you're going up against this guy. What's the? Uh, did he challenge you? You challenged him. Uh, we talked about is? it. No, like, this is going to be this is going to be a gentleman's match. This is going to be something I really, really respect. Jason Inman. I like the way he played his game against uh, Gray Drake. I like the way he handled himself. And we were talking about it. Here's the bottom line: I need to win this match. If I don't win this match, I am probably going to be playing teams, and it might, my my team in singles might be done if I lose two straight. But Jason Inman is a guy that has a bright future in the Shmona. Yeah, you, you, so you're kind of painting yourself as Crash Davis. You're, you, you want one more shot at the big leagues, bro. You're just going to be hitting minor league home runs for the rest of your that life. That will be my third loss in a row if I, if I lose to Jason Inman. So. Crash Davis is from Bull Durham, by the way. I know who he is. These are the kind of I things you should know. I'm gonna have to hold. I'm gonna have to hang up the the gloves if if I lose to Inman. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But. That's going to happen in August as well. It's a big match, and Inman's a guy I'm definitely not taking lightly. That they, dude, they all start impressive. out as gentlemen's matches until you get to the week of, and then it gets a little bit different. And look, number seven, and to a lesser extent, number six. Perfect gentleman, very nice, dapper young man. Then you get to number five, and that's a different story entirely. Well, number five, Jeff Snyder, who's one of the top heels in the company mm -hmm. right now. He's got a huge match going up against Sam Levine, who sits at this number three. Friday. Big match. Like all of these matches that are happening now from the five, four, three to all the mm -hmm. this is it's gonna be a lot of shakeups over the next couple of weeks because Jeff Snyder and Sam Levine, the winner will play the number two contender, Clark Wolf. That's a big match all the way around. So who do you got? Jeff Snyder, Sam Levine, big match. Uh, look, I, I like what Snyder brings to the table from a uh, entertainment standpoint. I just think he is no match for Sam Levine. I think it will go the distance, but I do have Levine in an easy victory. I got Snyder in the upset. I got Snyder winning this. I'm telling you, man, Snyder knocked out El Miembe, and it he knows 
his Al stuff. Al Bambi didn't even know there was a game going but on. This is but Sam Snyder. Levine. I'm not telling you he's going to knock Sam Levine out. I'm just telling you that it's going to be a victory for Snyder. Snyder's a guy that knows his stuff. And I'm telling you, we're going to hear a lot about him in the singles. And he might be going up against his former teammate, Mark Riley, for a title yeah, match eventually. A solid competitor, to be sure. But Sam Levine is uh, one of a kind. I would skip over number four. And number four oh, is Andy Zignor. Yeah, so he did defeat you he by did. the slimmest of margins it was a great match. in your head to head. It was one of the all time favorite matches, according to the fans, that you did a poll this week. So, Andy, when you look at his future, he's just kind of waiting right now, still licking his wounds, even though he achieved them in a victory last uh, a couple weeks. Who's he going up against? Well, next? Andy, here's the thing with Andy is that, and like I said, leading up to it, even though there was tremendous smack talk from the both of us. He proved he knows his stuff mm-hmm. and is no one to be. He should not be taken lightly at all. Right. This dude, he, he's going to be a beast. He plays the winner of Mance and Roka, mm, too. I like that. That's yeah. going to have some smack talk. But now the thing is, that match is going to take place probably sometime in September. So Andy's going to be sitting at 1-0 and for a bit. Expect Andy to drop in the rankings as these weeks go by because there's more people competing. You can't but that's get, the match Andy wanted next. I mean, you get one victory, and then you kick back in a hammock for the rest of this summer. So congratulations. He will have to prove himself again. But yeah. you're right. He is a worthy opponent. And then you got Sam Levine, like we talked about with Jeff Snyder. The Sam, guy you no longer believe in. Uh, of course I believe in Sam Levy, and I think Sam is one of the top competitors in this league and is quickly building a lot of support from the fans out there, too. Uh, he has a lot to deal with with Snyder this Friday. Going to be interesting. Either one, either Snyder or Sam Levine is going to have their hands full with the number two contender, and that's Clark Wolf. Yeah, I mean, Sam is the guy that that I think he plays to the level of his competition, whereas Clark Wolf, doesn't matter who she's playing, she is out for blood every time she gets in the ring. And uh, when you look at her future, you talk about any senior, maybe take the summer off, Clark is going to be challenged pretty soon here. This is the third time Clark is going to be responsible for someone either not getting their title shot or mm-hmm. getting a title shot. She took Makuga's title shot away from yep. him. She took Finstock's shot away from him. Now, this time, if she beats either Levine or Snyder, she will get a title shot herself. I think Clark is one of the most prepared uh, battlers we have in the movie trivia showdown. I feel like she would take on Snyder. And when I think that Sam Levine would edge her out. That's my personal prediction. It's it's gonna either way, we're gonna have some quality matchups happening pretty soon. Well, speaking of quality but not matchups. as quality yeah. as the big one. The big title match happening on July eighth, and that is Dangerous Dan Merle, the number one contender, going up against the reigning undefeated champion Mark Look Yodi at the Riley. Cockiness in that love picture. It. From both of these guys, they both own belts, Christian. Yep. The question is, will Riley retain his, or is Merle gonna be having too many belts for the amount of pants he probably owns? It's gonna be a lot of build up for that match. Like I said, that happens on July eighth. And here's something else that we have mentioned before. We can give you a little bit more information now. The Ultimate Schmodown, for those of you who are not familiar with it, this is how this whole thing started. It is a, it's a tournament. It used to be 16 weeks. Mm-hmm. It is going to be eight weeks this time, and it's going to have whoever the top eight contenders are at the time of the tournament that will start in August, they will play for a shot at the title. Now, that title is currently held by Mark Riley. Correct. Maybe he's still holding it when the tournament begins. Whoever is holding that belt when the tournament kicks off has the option. They can either throw their own hat in the ring yep. and play in the tournament. And the title will be on the line each round they win. Or, or lose. they can sit back and they can say, okay, let's let the top eight competitors yep. fight it out. So as you look at it right now, it would be Dan Merle through JTE. Let them fight it out, then I'll play whoever wins the tournament. There's no easy way out as Rocky Four would yep. tell you but maybe there is some strategy involved sure. uh, maybe uh, Merle would want to prove himself maybe Mark Riley would say I've proven myself five times six times by the time he plays Dan already so if he still has the belt maybe he just lets everyone else sort him out if I'm Mark Riley I'm sitting back and waiting because Mark Riley won this thing in 2014 and if he beats Dan Merle he can say you know what you guys do this I've done this already come get me now Dan Merle if Dan Merle wins the championship him going into the tournament would be interesting. It'd be, it would be a bit ballsy for him to go, you know, I'm because if he beats Riley, he'll be 3-0. and And then mm-hmm. he can go in the tournament and he comes out of that, he'll be 6-0 and with uh, three title defenses. And, and you're not going up against tomato cans. I mean, numbers one through eight, and nobody is an easy yeah. victory. I know because I'm playing the weakest of the bunch in JT. You know, am I going to beat him? Yeah, of course I am. But he is a good uh, competitor. Yeah. And everybody else in here has their stuff. I mean, look, you look at an Andy, you look at a Snyder, you look at a Sam Levine. Nobody wants to wake up and face those guys. And there's new con- uh, competitors coming 
all the time. I mean, we have Matt Nost <laughs> and Dewberry coming up. Mm -hmm. Can announce this match as well as it's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks. John Schnepp makes his return to the arena as he battles Kale Anonymous, who makes his debut. Big matchup there. Schnepp is another guy who needs a win. We'll see what happens. Maybe Kel's the next uh, Sam Levine or Dan Merle Snyder. We're going to find out. Now it's up to you guys. Comment and let us know. What do you guys think? Not only about the ultimate schmodown and whether if you were in that position of the champion, would you enter the ring or would you say, I'm going to let everybody else sort it out? Let us know what you think about this week's match, Sam Levine versus Jeff Snyder. Something different about you today? Uh, yeah, I got uh, chips today. Ah. You ready for a crunch? Please don't. That's awful. 